Hey, human Lottie Osites. This is Lottie Osizubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So, let's begin. Last time, we took on that Ash Greninja. This time, I think we have some new stuff going on, so actually, let's just check in. Sometimes checking in just makes sense. Sometimes it doesn't, I don't know. So, would I like to download extra data? Yes, I would. Thank you for asking. Extra data is being added. That is nice. So, we're going to get that extra data added, which is always appreciated. And I'm going to then proceed to DC. This way we don't get our uh, 500 coins for checking in before I could actually use them. Alright. So. Huh. So it looks like we have a new area. Violetta Place. Uh, sorry, Violetta Palace. That actually seems kind of cool. But we also have some new special stages. A lot of special stages. Okay, so we have Ash Greninja, still here. Mew is back. Azelf is here. Azelf appears. Can you defeat this powerful foe in a strictly limited amount of time? Huh. Using attack power. Okay. Sure. Also, um... Thank you to... I forgot who it was. It was a commenter suggested to actually bring, uh, Volbeat. So, I don't know if that'll work or not. This says bring Heracross and Scizor. I, I don't know. Also, we have Zygarde Complete Form appears. You can defeat the overwhelming power of the legendary Pokemon. Gather your strongest team together to take on a fearsome challenge. Consider bringing Dragonite and Haxorus. Interesting. Also, we have the, the uh, Spooky Safaris back. So those of you who didn't get that around Halloween. So Dustnor is also here. Caldeo Ordinary Form is still here. Infernape is still here. The Latios Escalation Battle is back. First time on mobile. If you're on 3DS and you already have the Mega Stone at stage 50, you get a Mega Speed Up instead of the Latios site. You also get those experience boosters instead of the other things. I think like normal like disruption delays, and Mega Starts, and whatever. Also at level 100 you get a max level, you get a speed up on uh, three, on mobile. And also we have a daily challenge too, which in this kit today is Tyrogue. Interesting. Alright, well you know what, I'm going to start off, I'm going to try out this as elf one. Let's just see what we can do, I get a bad feeling. I am going to use an attack power, and let's just hope for the best. Let's do it! After how much trouble Yuxi gave me, I get concerned, but let's just see what we can do. Wow, okay, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of Volbeat. Also, I really don't like the fact that they nerfed, um, the, uh, crowd control. It really, really sucks, the fact that they did that. I mean, I kind of understand why they did it, I just don't like the fact that they did. First of all, it wasn't nearly as broken as it probably, as they probably would think it was. But, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like GS just wanted to make the game a little more difficult, but at the same time, I feel like now they just... I feel like they did too much at this point. Alright, so thank you for that, Heracross. That was very convenient. Now... Yeah, of course that's gonna happen. Alright. Okay, we don't have enough time. Alright, so with that, we defeated his elf with 12 seconds remaining. I get a bad feeling now. Also, it's kind of difficult to see the uh, Genesex with those purloin because they're the same color. Hmm. Especially because crowd control wasn't la um, landing. I'd probably be better off using something else, but... Alright, either way, let's see if we can catch this thing. I'll go for a Grape Ball if I have to. 40%! That is not good. 40% <laughs> is not good with the attack power. Definitely not good. Yeah, you're gonna break out. Give me a Super Catch Power, please. You're not gonna give me a Super Catch Power. Right, 80%! This will probably take me two Great Balls, let's face it. I never catch these things in one Great Ball. Except now. Okay, so with that we caught his Elf! Alright! It only took us an Attack Power and a Great Ball. It has the Attack Power of 70, the Psychic Typing, and the ability Paralyze. With that, we have captured a Zelf. Alright. 
I think our trip to Lake Valor paid off. All right, I'm going to check in now. Let's get our results from the Mega Blaziken competition as well as those 500 coins for checking in now that we spent some. So with that, we placed number 1,227 overall, so we received a Mega Speed Up and a raise max level. We also got 500 coins. Nice. All right. Okay, so you know what? Let's try out this daily challenge thing. I want to try it with... I'm going to use Mewtwo, I guess. Let's see what we can do. Let's just let's just see what we can do here. Seven moves. Here we go. All right. I think I'm going to do this. That worked. That seems to have worked. Okay. Now I don't know what to do now. Hmm. I kind of. All right, I have no reason to go for Lugia. Deoxys might have been a better move right there. All right, now I can go for Lugia, but what am I really going to accomplish? Oh, that worked. That definitely worked. Okay. So this stage is fairly easy. I just get a bad feeling it's so easy, it's probably going to have a low catchability. Hopefully it has a better catchability than Azelf. Um, if it doesn't, then I don't know what to tell you. All right, eighteen percent base, so thirty percent. Yeah, this thing is. If it's an eighteen base, add twenty-one to that because there's seven moves. So it's a maximum of four, a maximum of thirty-nine percent. All right, I'm gonna go for a great ball here because I have nothing to lose since we do have that great ball refund policy. Um, I'm not gonna throw two great balls at this thing, but this way I don't have to use another heart. So now we are gonna catch Tyrogue. I don't recommend using a great ball for yourself here, but we are actually gonna get an S rank. 200 coins back. It has attack power 30, the fighting typing, and the ability paralyze. With that, we have S rank captured Tyrogue. All right. So I guess next up is gonna be Zygarde complete. Oh boy. Okay. You know what? I think I'm actually going to use. I think I'm gonna use Mega Latios. All right, it says I bring Dragonite and Haxorus. My Haxorus isn't very strong though. So, do I have any other super effective ones? I could bring Zygarde, um, well, Zygarde 50, um, well, 10%. Or I could bring 50, 50%, I think will be more um, powerful. This would help me out with the Mega Evolution, but if I can get the Mega Evolution off quickly, it'll be good. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go with I think Gudra. This play will have an extra 30, uh, an extra 30 points per hit. Actually, an extra 60 because it's double. I'm gonna try that. So let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what this is like itemless, and if however things go, if things go well, great. If they don't go well, then less than great. Let's go. Alright. That thing is a monster. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright. I think... I can't go for Zygarde 50% because... I have none to go for. Latios isn't going to get a counterattack off. And yeah. That pretty much sums up my luck. Yveltal, really? You're really going to do this. Okay. I don't have any Zygarde's to go for. So it's kind of... Eh. Of course you're going to do that. All right, well, they were going to actually trigger the uh, the Barrier Bash to... I don't know to what effect that's really going to do for us. There's a counterattack, although... Xerneas as well. Gudra's not going to get rid of anything for us, either. Okay. You've got to be kidding me. There's going to be a board reset. I can almost guarantee that we're going to get a board reset. Or I'm going to regret, or I'm going to hope we did. All right. At least Xerneas can get rid of the other Xerneas. We are definitely, definitely, definitely going to lose this. Okay. So would I be better off bringing Xerneas then rather than the uh, Gudra? Yeah, there's a board reset. And that wasted half of our moves. Actually, most of our moves. Hmm. Even the attack power wouldn't help us here, I don't think. 
Honestly, we would've just needed to break those barriers. Maybe if I brought Diancie, it would make a difference. Like, if I used Diancie as the Mega. Or if I brought Zygarde 10%, we'd be able to get the Mega Evolution off. There's the Mega Evolution, although it is way, way, way too late. And we're not even triggering the, um, Dancing Dragons. <laughs> I get this feeling that, G that GS completely nerfed the entire game. I... I have no words. No, I have no... We're not even gonna get a Barrier Bash off at the end. That is just... That is... That is my luck! I understand this stuff isn't guaranteed when you're going for three of a kind. It's not even guaranteed anymore if you're going for four of a kind. But still, still, you, I would hope for something. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to try to see what happens if we can get the Mega Evolution off faster if I go for... But the thing is, I'm not triggering anything. Why would I, why would I expect to land a Mega Boost Plus? If I can't set up a four of a kind of anything, how is that going to make a difference? Maybe I should just bring Xerneas instead of Gudra. I'm gonna try Xerneas then. If that doesn't work, then and it probably won't, then I'll have to figure out something. Then I might... No, I don't think I want to bring Mega Rayquaza because... What's that going to accomplish? Alright, I'm going to try this item list one more time. With Xerneas this time. And from there we'll, des we'll decide if this makes a difference or not. So far, it's not. But, alright. Can we get a Quirky Plus off? No, we can't get a Quirky Plus off. Why would we? Why would we ever get a Quirky Plus off when I need one? That, that would just make no sense. At least that worked out for us. We're not getting anything. I mean... I can't break one barrier. I can't break one barrier with Zygarde. And we can't get combos when I go for the... when I actually get the uh, Dancing Dragons off. You notice that? Okay. I just don't get combos, like, ever. Maybe a Mega Star could make a difference, since we'd be able to actually start off with the uh, Mega Latios. Because if I can get Zygarde to get rid of these barriers, I wouldn't- I don't have any need for Mega Diancie. That wasn't a very good move, I admit. Alright, well there, we're not going to get any Dancing Dragons off. We are going to get the Mega Evolution with 8 moves remaining, which is admittedly better than I have been doing. Alright. I don't know why I just went for the Barrier Bash instead of the- instead of the Dancing Dragons. Though in all likelihood I wouldn't have triggered either of them, but, uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I would need the, the- the best combo ever, and even then I'm probably not even gonna get a good catch ability. I feel like the Zygarde complete is biased against the Zygarde 50%, because I get so few of them that I can't get rid of the barriers. <laughs> wow. And I don't even have a lot of use I can go for because of these barriers. Don't you just love when the game does that for you? It just sets everything up for you and then, you know, takes everything away? So with that, we're going to lose again. I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to use a Mega Start and a uh, Attack Power because I don't know how else I'm actually going to get this thing beaten without, maybe a Disruption Delay, but the thing is I do have, I do have Zygarde. Mm. I'm going to try it with the Attack Power and the Mega Start and let's just see what we can do. Attack Power and a Mega Start. Here we go. Here we go. And then I'm probably going to be using a Great Bow on top of that. But I'm just concerned that if I don't get the Mega... If I use the Mega Start, I'll never get the Mega... If I use the Attack Power, I'll never get the Mega Evolution off. And if I use the Mega Evolution, I won't be able to do enough damage. 
and we can't even trigger. You see, I feel like... I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I feel like I trigger... Um, I trigger abilities and, or skills or whatever a lot less often when I'm using the mega... when I'm using the attack power. I don't know if the attack power actually does that, but for some reason I just feel like it does. So, does the attack power actually get in the way of triggering skills? If it does, then that is just wrong. I don't know if it actually does or not, maybe it's just bad luck, because I understand half of this game is RNG. But still... I, I don't know. Alright, I'm just gonna do this, even though it was probably a horrible move. Alright. I need this Dancing Dragons, I bet you we're not getting it. Okay, we are getting it! That is, that is definitely, definitely nice. Of course, you're gonna start with those blocks. And I can't do anything. Am I seriously gonna lose even with the attack power and the Mega Start? This thing is so bulky. Oh my goodness. Alright, I think we're gonna actually win. I just don't think we're gonna get a good catch ability. Alright, this should win it. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna have four moves remaining, so we're probably gonna get a catch ability of, my guess would be... I wanna say 17%? Maybe 22%? I, I don't know. I don't know what this thing's base catch ability is. Probably 1% base. 23% no, base, that's not bad. So 31%. I expect it to be really low. So that's actually significantly better than I get. Super catch power, please. Oh yeah! Alright, we're gonna get the super catch power. Drinks the Oh it's guaranteed. Okay, I'm going for a great ball. <laughs> guaranteed capture. A little bit anticlimactic, I suppose. But you know what? I'm still happy to get it. So with that, we have captured Zygarde complete. It has the four-star recommendation. So it's actually a it's actually a four-star recommendation. It's not a normal type. Interesting. So it's 200 coins back for it. Attack power of 90. Yeah, it's attack power of 90 Pokemon that is super effective against something. That is power. So there's a um, power of 5 plus and the dragon typing. With that, we have captured Zygarde complete. I'm sure you can probably do this thing item once if you know what you're doing and you can get combos and whatever. But I just don't get combos for whatever reason. Alright, so the Latios Escalation Battle is here. I'm contemplating whether or not I'm actually going to do it, because we do have main stages that I could do instead, because I already have Latios. So, I might just do some of that stuff off-screen, because you guys have seen this, and... Well, you guys have seen it. It's that simple. So... I don't think they changed it. So, I don't know. That's so it, we do have this th these new main stages. I don't know if these are going to be tough or easy, or... I have no idea. Also, another thing I've been wondering is, do I want to give, do I want to give my Mega Speed Ups to Heracross or Lucario? I have five Mega Speed Ups, oops, I didn't mean to use it on Bulbasaur, and I have six Raise Max levels. As far as the Raise Max levels go, I've been thinking about it, and I want to give it to, I've been thinking about, like, Kyogre Groudon or, or Charizard. I think I want to give it to Charizard, because it would be a really good fire type. And it could definitely uh, help us out. Especially because Charizard doesn't have that high in level to begin with. So I'm actually going to try doing that. I'm going to raise the max level of Charizard. So its max level went up by one. So that means it can get more experience. So you know what? I'm actually going to give all of them the Charizard. Well, not all of them, but all but one, because I can only use so many of them. So, luckily it works on both Charizards. Now, I don't know, if they add more Pokemon you can give it to, then I'm really going to probably cry that I didn't save them. But, I'm going to let Charizard become OP. So, I am going to completely max out this Charizard, um, so I can keep training Charizard now. 
So I'm gonna hold off for right this second. I know I said I'm gonna give the Mega speed ups to uh, Lucario, but I don't know. Maybe I could give him the Heracross, because I feel like I use Heracross almost as much. I, I don't know. I'm gonna let you guys decide, especially because now that now that they nerfed crowd control, Heracross isn't as useful before Mega Evolving. So, just tell me what you guys think. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna bring Delphox, and I'm gonna bring Blaziken. I think I'm gonna try the Mega Blaziken. So just tell me what you guys think for that, who I should give the, the next Mega Speed Ups uh, to. Alright, so let's try this. This thing is a Grass type here. Let's do it. Let's see what we can do. 17 moves. Here we go. Alright. I think I want to go for the Reshiram just to break those barriers, even though I could have gotten a Pyre Boost, and that would have been nice, but I don't think we would have gotten a decent combo there. That didn't get us a very good combo. Alright. We're going to need the Mega Evolution if we want a chance at actually winning this thing and potentially S-ranking it. Alright, you want to play that way? Okay. In that case, I'm going to get the Mega Evolution now. Alright, there's the Mega Evolution. Now we just need a huge, huge combo. And we're not even getting a Pyre Boost, nor a combo. Of course. Why would that happen? Alright. We need... We need luck now. We need luck. I need a, uh... Well... That that was a decent move, or a decent play should... Uh, decent, uh, set of, uh, reactions, but... Didn't quite do enough. Alright. I think that was the last... No, we have... Yeah, that was the last move. So, yeah, we don't have... We can't get the S rank now, but we might be able to still catch it. Yeah, we're not getting anything. Alright, whatever. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, we're not getting any Blaziken, so I'm just gonna have to just go for the Blaziken now. Because I have nothing else to do. Are right, you gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. So we're going to take it down with four moves remaining, which is not an S rank, but plus five moves would definitely um, get us the S rank here. Actually, it'd come, it, it would come close, I think. I don't know, but we should get a decent-ish cat, probably a 23%. That's not a horrible catch ability, but not a great one. It's about what I would expect from low tat. If we get a super catch power, I'll go for it. Otherwise, there's no reason to really no reason to go for it. Even if I do manage to catch it, because I, even though I have the, the Great Ball refund policy, I still have nothing to really gain from ca from throwing a Great Ball at it. Alright, next up is Psyduck. Oh, okay. I'm going to try Lotad one more time. I'm going to use the plus five moves and just try to get the S rank this time. Here we go. Let's do this. 17 moves. Here we go. Let's break those barriers and just hope for a bunch of combos. We're not going to get the Pyre Boost there, but we are going to get a decent enough combo to get us the Mega Evolution off. And that is nice. That is definitely nice. So I'm going to try to get a Pyre Boost. We're not going to get a Pyre Boost there, but we are going to get the Blaziken. But it's not going to do nearly, nearly enough. So... I'm just going to do what I can here and just get combos if I can't get the, uh, if I can't really do anything else. Eh, Delphox isn't quite doing enough for us, unfortunately. Alright, now I think we can do this. Now we can do this. Let's just get a huge board wipe. There we go. So the plus five didn't matter here. 
But the good thing is, even though the plus five didn't matter, because that was that was a pyre boosted board wipe. <laughs> Got some better combos this time. However, we do get a decent catch ability. It's not helped by the plus five, but the fact the plus five didn't matter makes a difference. Because that gives us a 41% catch ability. I will go for a Great Ball this time if we need to. Because I don't feel like doing this stage again. So 41%. It's going to give us the 82%. Oh, Super so it's probably guaranteed. Another max catch ability. Definitely nothing to lose this time. Other than my coins. But, you know. What are you going to do? <laughs> Alright. So with that, we caught Lotad. And we got the S rank. So it has an attack power 30, the ability block smash, and the grass typing. We didn't need the plus 5, we did waste 800 coins for that, but you know what, that's, that's okay. That's okay. With that we have our first S rank from Violetta Palace. Alright. So, I know I dug into some of my uh, residual hearts and whatever, but we have them, so no reason to, to just save them and never use them, I suppose. So I guess next time we're going to continue with uh, Psyduck and I guess whatever the next daily Pokemon is after Tyrogue. So, I'm sure that'll be interesting. I may or may not do the Latios Escalation Battle, but I'm probably going to spend more of my time working on grinding. And if I have time, try to get that one mega speed up and maybe the, um, the level, the, the raise max level, I might do that. It depends, but at the very least, we do have a Raise Max leveled Charizard, as well as uh, you guys can decide what should I do with my uh, Mega Speed Ups that I currently have. Should I give them to Lucario, or should I give them to Heracross, or should I give them to someone else completely, or should I just wait until, because I know at the end of this place there is a Mega Scizor, so should I consider giving it to that? I don't know what its uh, mega effect uh, is, though. Also, apparently we have some expert sages. Looks like high dragons available, so I guess we're going to be seeing some uh, dino and uh, Zoalis coming up. And then the, uh, I guess, I'm guessing the last uh, expert stage will be high dragon. So, I guess we can look forward to that, I suppose. I'm probably not going to end up having maximum coinage by next time, because there's no way I'm going to be able to get 18,000 coins in one day. Because I am going to be doing this daily this week, it looks like, because we do have the daily Pokemon. So, I'll see you guys with that then. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.